Ejaculating is like giving blood. What would happen if you gave blood every day? You'd be pretty messed up. You'd be pretty deficient. You'd have pretty low hormone levels, pretty low vitality. Well, it's pretty much what men are doing when they're ejaculating every day. They're running their system into the ground, tanking their hormone levels, destroying their energy, destroying their willpower, becoming impulsive, overly emotionally addiction-driven people. But there's something you can do about it. We're gonna break it down in this video. I'm Jonathan White. I'm here to help you master your sexual energy so you can manifest your ideal life. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and get my free ejaculation control course through the link in the video description below. In Ayurveda, it's understood that semen is the most refined substance of the body. The food becomes the blood. The blood becomes the, I forget the exact sequence. You can look it up, the whole Ayurveda sequence, but basically the end product of energy into your body as a man, kind of the holy grail of all the substances the body creates is the semen which makes sense because this is not a waste product, guys. This is the thing a lot of people get into. Like, I got a comment from someone saying like, what are you gonna tell us next? Poop retention? Semen is not a waste product. And I think we all know that. It's to create life. It's to create a new human being. It's the seed, it's the essence, it's the best of everything in our bodies. The body gives 100% into creating semen because it's literally to continue the survival of our species. That is until Prawn Hub came around and semen is now something you sling around like it's an endless supply. You just paint your walls with it, paint your tissue with it, paint that old gym sock with it. This is what men are doing with their vitality in the year 2023 and you know have been for several decades now. In an analysis of sperm, of semen, you will find that it is more nutritionally dense than blood. Because again, it's basically concentrated blood. Another saying is that I think it's like 20 drops of blood equals one drop of semen, or maybe it's more than that, I can't remember, but you get the idea. So why then, doctors will tell you, you should not give blood, you should not you know, remove blood from your body more than once every like 12 weeks or so. So why is it that we are almost encouraged to ejaculate frequently? daily even. If you should not be giving blood frequently, you should definitely not be ejaculating frequently because it's a very similar effect. So my question is, why are we programmed to ejaculate frequently when it clearly is not serving us? We have doctors giving us advice saying, oh, it's healthy, it's perfectly healthy to ejaculate every day. It's good for your prostate. Yeah, good for the prostate. That's one of the most common questions I get from guys is, isn't semen retention bad for the prostate? Because the doctors are telling me to ejaculate all the time. Why do 50% of men still have prostate issues? If all you're doing to take care of your prostate is ejaculating, you're not getting to the root cause of what causes prostate issues. That's another topic. The other thing is porn. Porn is free. Very, very very large portion of the internet is entirely made of porn. Massive industry, massive dark force in my opinion. This is hypnotizing you, triggering your most base instincts and impulses and creating this arousal which you feel uncomfortable with. It's overstimulated, it's over aroused and the only thing you can do is send it out of your body. So because of these things, men have been programmed and conditioned to be ejaculating every day, effectively castrating themselves. This is a control system. There's, it's, it's really obvious when you look at it. When you ejaculate frequently, you become weak. Your testosterone levels are low. Your androgen levels are fucked up. So when we have a society full of frequent ejaculating men, what we get are, you know, instead of strong, decisive leaders directing their partners, directing their family with strength, with love, with integrity, we have men who become weak, addicted, impulse-driven, over-emotional little boys. This is what most men are in the modern world. And because they're so depleted, they can't handle stress. They can't handle pressure. They can't do the thing that's uncomfortable and that takes hard work. So they take the easy path in life. They become addicts. They become slaves, basically. They have no direction. And what does this do to relationships? Men literally don't have the balls. They don't have the balls because they've emptied them. They don't have the balls to be in a strong, masculine polarity. So in a male-female relationship, which is what I'm speaking to here, all relationships have yin and yang dynamics, so you can apply this equally. When a man is not in this masculine polarity in a relationship with a woman, the woman has to lead herself because he's not creating structure, safety, and direction for her, so she has to do it herself. So now she's in her masculine. And this isn't about like, you know, I believe all beings are equal. We should all be able to be and do whatever we want to do. That's fine. But on a pure sense of like looking at the attraction factor here, polarity, why are modern relationships failing completely? This because they're losing polarity. They're losing attraction because men are often in their feminine, women are often in their masculine, and it creates this clash that neutralizes polarity. So now it it becomes like relationships feel more like you have a roommate, you have a friend that you're trying to have sex with and it doesn't work so well in the long term. This is destroying relationships, it's destroying men's fulfillment in life, it's destroying their sense of direction, their sense of identity, and we have men who are weak, addicted, impulse-driven, depressed. It's a complete disaster where the world's going with this direction. And 
coming back to that being a control system, this may sound like this tinfoil hat, complete conspiracy theory thing, but it's much more practical. It's, it's even not even that personal we could say. It's like when you get a pet, you castrate them usually. You take the balls off. You, you fix them, as we say, right? Because if you have a dog that still has its balls intact or a cat, they're usually much more rambunctious. Like I grew up on a farm and when we had a dog that wasn't fixed, they would literally like prowl miles and miles looking for a female to have sex with. So they have this drive and this intensity, but when you remove their testicles, they become a lot more compliant and docile and they're easier pets, right? The exact same thing with humans. So you're a ruler, you're ruling over a society of people. They're like your pets, your slaves, whatever. It's a very simple practical thing of, okay, how do we reduce aggressiveness and assertiveness in the males so they become more compliant? It's as simple as that. It's not like they're personally like, we don't like you. We want to make sure you're miserable. It's just like, it's how do you control a population? It's, it's, it's really not very personal. It's just a big grand scale of things. So don't take it personally. Don't feel like a complete victim of it all. Just be understanding that that's the situation. That's how it is. And now you choose to navigate your life accordingly. So this over ejaculation is wrecking your hormone system. It's wrecking your vitality. Instead of feeling good and happy and driven and fulfilled in life, you feel empty, depressed, and numb because you're literally like a deflated balloon. The only thing you can do is find these quick fixes to feel just a little something from moment to moment to moment, you know, porn, video games, food, just to try to feel that emptiness and depletion. But the solution is to practice semen retention, rebuild your energy. And this doesn't mean you have to go forever without ejaculating. If you really are attached to ejaculating, if you go at least a week between ejaculations, that's going to be tremendously more beneficial than doing it every day. If you go two weeks, it's going to be even better. So it's not about everything or nothing here. It's just understanding that excessively ejaculating is wrecking your system is depleting you. So learn to have a new dynamic. And this is not about stopping sexual stimulation, my approach. Quite the opposite, actually, because I believe that sex, sexual stimulation, sexual pleasure, orgasm are essential to us as human beings. Exercising the sexual organs works your endocrine system. It improves your hormone levels. It improves your overall satisfaction, your creativity, your vitality. This is the root of your being. You should not be suppressing this. It's about engaging with it in a conscious way way, in a holistic way, where you benefit from it rather than losing energy from it. This is what sexual kung fu is all about, baby. And the most important part of this is learning to have non-ejaculatory sex. This is what crushes a lot of men is they're doing semen retention, no fap, whatever. Then they get into a relationship and it's just back to square one. It's back to this old dynamic of just constant ejaculation, which is, it is better with a partner. There's at least some kind of exchange there, but ultimately you're still emptying yourself into a void and you will reach depletion if you're ejaculating every single time. Learn how to have non-ejaculatory sex. So by doing this, you're getting back into your masculine power. You will start to feel more assertive, more bold, more driven in your life, and you'll be back in your masculine polarity. So you'll be able to create attraction and desire in your partner, even in a long-term relationship, and you'll be driven to fulfill your life's purpose, your life's mission, and have all the energy you need to do that. You'll be able to handle more stress, handle more pressure, and really go for your purpose and your dreams. If you're interested in learning more about owning your masculine polarity and stepping into your assertive leadership nature, let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a video more about stepping into your masculine power, stepping into your leadership and assertive role in life. So that's it, when you stop castrating yourself every day, your life will completely change. So if you want a resource to guide you through this process, I'm really excited to announce that my brand new course, Sex God, is now open for enrollment. This is essentially replacing my multi-orgasmic man course. It's the new level of sexual kung fu, even more refined. In this course, you're going to learn how to live the semen retention lifestyle. You're going to learn how to have non-ejaculatory orgasms and how to control your ejaculation during sex. You're gonna learn how to use self-pleasure or sex in a way that generates healing energy, generates creative energy and drive in your life. You're gonna learn how to transmute the sexual energy into spirit, to move it through your body, turning it into pure creative energy instead of this horny impulsive energy. And my wife and I, we've been together for almost seven years now. We've been doing this for a long time and we're gonna teach how to create polarity in your relationship, even a long-term polarity, how to bring back the attraction, bring back the dynamic of yin and yang so that you have powerful attraction relationships and you're gonna learn how to step into king level energy and confidence in the bedroom and out in the world. So that's all my Sex God course. Find more information in the description of this video. If you like the content, please subscribe to my channel and have a great day, my friends. Mm -hmm.